Welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw the above mechanism loci problem. To draw the above mechanism loci problem, the first thing you have to do is to draw a horizontal line. From the question, you will see that the said line AO is 40 millimeter. So, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 40 mm. Then I will place my compass on the horizontal line I just drew. Then I will draw a cycle. Next, I will draw a vertical line passing through the center of the cycle. I will label the center of the cycle O. Now, using my 45 degree set square, I will divide the cycle into 8 equal parts. So the cycle has been divided into 8 equal parts successfully. Now I will label the point where lines of division intersect the circumference of the cycle. So I will number the points. I will call this point A0. This point A1. This point A2. A3. A4. Here A5. A6 and A7. Now I will extend this vertical line downward. So I will draw another vertical line. I will draw another vertical line 88 millimeter from this vertical line. So I will mark a point 88 millimeter. From this vertical line here. So now I will draw the vertical line. So after that, I will draw a horizontal line 13 mm from this horizontal line. The horizontal line should intersect this vertical line. So I will mark a point 13 mm from this one. The point where the lines intersect should be labeled C. From the question, line AB is 145 mm. So I will draw a line from line A0 passing through point C. The line should be 145 mm. Also, the line should be bold. So I will label the end of the line B as B0. I will also make line A0 O bold. I will also draw a line from point A1 passing through point C. The line should be also 145 mm. This time the line will not be bold.
I will label the end of the line P1. I will repeat the same procedure for point A2. Remember that the line should be 145 mm. I will label the end of the line P2. Now for point A3. I will also label the end of the line E3. Now for point A4. Remember that the length of the line should be 145 mm and the line must pass through point C. So I will label the end of the line B4. Now for point A5. Remember that the line should be 145 mm and it must pass through point, point C. So I will label the end of the line B5. Now for point A6. So I will label the end of the line B6. Now for point A7, which is the last point. So as usual, we label the end of the line B7. So now the B point has been drawn successfully. Now, if your B point is not sufficient enough for you to produce the loci of point B, so you are to draw lines from the circumference of your cycle. That is from suitable points on the circumference of your cycle. The line should also pass through point C. And the length of the line should also be 145 millimeter. So I will draw line from this point so that I can have more points in order for me to look in order for me to produce the low kind. So I will label the end of the line P1. I will also draw another line. Remember that the length of these lines should be 145 mm and they should pass through point C. I will label this point P2. Remember that this point must pass through point C. That is, these lines must pass through point C. I will label this one P3 at like this point, at like the end of the line. So now it is time to produce the loci of point B. So now I will draw a curve passing through points, all the B points. That is from B0 to B7. The local should also pass through point P. That is those P points I just marked. So I will do that using my French curve.
So the loci has been produced successfully. Now all that is left is for me to indicate my dimension. I will also indicate that AO revolve anticlockwise because from the question it was stated that AO revolve anticlockwise. The mechanism local problem has been solved successfully. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you are having challenge with any of your engineering drawing or technical drawing assignments, you can send the question to the WhatsApp number displayed. I will solve the questions and send a video of the solution to you. It's completely free, it will not cost you a dime.